Mm -hmm. Well, I want to welcome you all uh, here to Chaos Contemporary in Baltimore. I'm Brian Miller, the director of the gallery. I'm um, joined tonight uh, by Jonathan Ammon, who's a professor of anthropology from Gettysburg College, and uh, our featured artist, uh, Innocenzio Jimenez Chino, um, who has this wonderful series titled Uncle Rabbit and the Wax Doll. And um, we're fortunate to have them here from Mexico uh, this evening to talk about the work. Um, and I, I, I wanted to jump right into uh, mm -hmm. some questions, um, one of which is, talk about the materials. In a sense, I'm hoping you can talk to us about the uh, materials on here. Tell us about the material that's painted on and what you're using mm -hmm. to make the work. Mm -hmm. San Pablito, Puebla. Okay. Uh -huh. So the, um, the, 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 Oka, mm -hmm. Oka, Puebla. Okay. Uh -huh. So the, the, uh, I'll start with the, the bark. It's bark painting. It's actually, he didn't say this, but it's made from a mulberry tree. Mm -hmm. I think it's Ficus. It's oh. a scientific name. Yeah. Um, and the village traditionally uses these um, for cutouts, not for painting. They'll make ritual objects. Um, out of them. And in the 1960s, they would bring some of the paper to Mexico City and um, sell it as artisanry and for lampshades. And that's when the tradition started. Mm -hmm. So he gets the amates um, from sellers from Pahuatlan. San Pablito? San Pablito. And San Pablito are two Otomi villages. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they'll come all the way to Meltepec, which is quite a distance, mm -hmm. to sell them. And the paints are acrylicos, you know what? Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. The the acrylico. So they're the, acrylic the, paints, the, the water based, yeah. and the brand name is Polytech, mm -hmm. which is used a lot. In they're Mexico. so vibrant, mm -hmm. and that's been one of the things that most people have really connected to, uh, particularly mm -hmm. because they're on this softer looking paper. I mean, it's a it's a rigid kind of rigid paper. Um, but it has a soft matte finish to it, and the, the colors just like bounce mm. off. Mm. Um, what kind of tools is he using? What kind mm. of brushes we were discussing earlier? Catch, So he, he buys the brushes and he'll sometimes make them much thinner so he can get the detail that he needs. Pulling um, them out or trimming them out. Okay. Okay. So all the, all the hairs that are around sort of, he leaves the center, right? Oh, so he pulls plucks around, all, plucks, them out. plucks around, so I'll leave a small center and that's how he gets the fineness of the art. Mm -hmm. And when he paints this, so when he paints it, he'll paint the entire drawing in black ink. Right, so he'll do that first. So he has fine borders and fine lines. And then they have something, and he fills it in with the colors afterwards. So the first, it's the painting is finished first yes. in black and white. Yeah. And I'm going to ask him if he ever sells the black and whites. Mm. Mm. So sometimes he'll just sell it just, just black and white. The line drawings. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
I mean, one thing that um, um, I absolutely love about the work and that a lot of people have commented on is the extremely fine detail, which obviously comes from these very tiny brushes that he's using. So many people have come in here and asked if he's using a magnifying glass no, to good. paint the tiny, tiny, very tiny little details. He thought that he could get a little bit of silk to get it. ストイコ、ワンロイナンカ、ヨナンカテオンエンピンタリココマスンタチャ、シネクエレンテスサコ、ニシネクエニシテスカ。サコエ、ウネスバラマ、ショマンタチャマ、ネクエレンテス。
de, 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 oh, de conejo, pero, uh -huh. pero a manica, bueno, sé que me está para lucha, no, que está machucha, un okay. cuento, pero más, son sé cuatro años ya, sacó, okay, pero no hay más ácido, no hay no uh -huh. más pego, no hay más pego. So, uh -huh. if you heard the story before, you know, it's common, you know, elders, now people are, there are fewer storytellers now, mm -hmm. but he would hear it and other painters would hear it, and other painters would paint, like, inspired by either the tar baby or the, the wax doll story or the mm -hmm. gizzard eater or whatever, but they would only just paint one, mm -hmm. right? So there wouldn't be a series of, they wouldn't illustrate the story, yeah. they'd be inspired by the story is what he said, mm -hmm. and so other people in the village would paint that. Yeah. Um, but this is the first time that there's really an illustration is going along with the whole story. I have a question related to that. I've been curious about, uh, in Ascendio, how you decided on these 13 panels, like on these 13 tableaus. Well, can no, can no, can no, nemili para un trece quisa. Aha. Pues, campo, que está o pedo, ni que está más, cual si ya, no se hace ne caoquis. Well, he said he was just, you know, listening to the story because I have it taped. Yeah. Um, so he could listen to it and we just sort of decide where he could illustrate what scenes would be good to illustrate mm -hmm. as he was listening to the stories actually um about 20 minutes mm -hmm. um, and it's a very nice telling of the story yeah. so it's really yeah. nice we'll actually have that um posted adjacent to our talk on our youtube page oh that's fantastic um, with um with each of the tableaus kind of like softly going through uh to yeah so you can kind of like hear it um and i think you have it, it we there's a there's the, there's the native version. Is there an English version too? That's awesome? We, so they told me, you know, the publisher or somebody had the idea of a, of a audio book, mm -hmm. right? So I said, if we do an audio book, we should have it in Nahuatl, which is already recorded, yeah. and Spanish and English. Yeah. So I actually found two very, very good people to, uh, you know, professional yeah. actors to yeah. do it. Um, but they haven't done it yet because we're, we're sort of waiting for the book to come out and... We should probably mention that, that this is turning into... Oh, this is turning... children's book in three languages. Um, it's a trilingual edition. Yeah. And if you look on Amazon, um, you'll see Uncle Rabbit and the Wax Doll. If you yeah. type it in, you can buy it. Or Deep Vellum is the uh, publisher. They actually, this is their first illustrated book. They're more of yeah. a poetry. Yeah. And so it's... It's available actually very cheaply. Yeah. Twenty dollars, I think, for the I shouldn't maybe I shouldn't say that there. <laughs> That's okay to plug it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's an amazing edition. Yeah. Um and that comes with access to the to the audio. Yeah. That's great. Um Do you have a favorite uh panel here? Unga Ketla se mas tigualita mas ketla mala ketla mitziotilana no so no <laughs> He just, uh, he says the, the coyote is a, a bit of a mischievous, ah. and he's, I guess, getting his due or something the, like that. Oh, because the coyote's normally the little trickster, and he got tricked by the Well, the coyote's the always one who's, I guess that's not really true, because it's the rabbit is the trickster, mm -hmm. but the coyote is sort of getting his just dessert because yeah, it's, yeah, a, yeah. What's due to it's, it's sort of like what is it in bugs isn't there like the, oh, yeah, a wily, yeah, wily yeah, coyote. right that's yeah. might even be based on stuff like this uh -huh. but that's uh that's the coyote who was tricked into taking the rabbit's place yeah <laughs> <laughs> the um the landscape is so important to these mm -hmm. it gives a sense of place they're not these extreme close views of the story. There are these um, 
vistas and tableaus of this special place. Is this a real place that he's painted from? Did mm -hmm. you painted from a real place in Asensio, or um, is it an imagined space? Qualcun santi ne milia in che non che non ti gidas mi ciun te peme, sa i pa mozon teco no so che non tlaci ane tocen no so cana ti gita con che la che non ti mili para. Pues no vas a un un ni ne mili i pa no son teco que no. Ajá. Pero sé que te quema con un tacho de pez pero sé que está un ni ne mili un quise pa no son teco que no un 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 tamachoti. So he says some you know there's hills in the area that. Um, Wapan, where he lives, it's in a river basin, but there are sort of hills there. But it's really just his imagination of, yeah. of it's not like a landscape. Not necessarily a real place, but inspired right. by where he's at. Right, I think yeah. that's it. Yeah, I mean, it's a wonderful, imaginative, beautiful place. Yeah, I mean, I think, and then you did used to do, <clears throat> still, they'll paint like um, not paint plant. Um, Winter gardens mm -hmm. along the river, mm -hmm. and in some places they'll actually dig trenches to irrigate. Yeah. Um, but in Wapan, they mostly just take buckets of water from the river, yeah. and then bring it, uh, in. bring it. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about your background and how you got into painting? <laughs> Matatle makwele shipa nipia open ni no mascha i pansa i pa amat ya ya tlilike la palion tlilike monkano wale wong tlilike ti ti si pantet la la pas de 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 tet no kwechwa no kwe no kwechwa oyo no kwa mansi yo la pas kilet la pas tetlile tlilike gen gen tinta china tlilike open open no mascha ke ma Onita ya ni huelis, cual ni quisha te. Después lo pe, la ni maga cuor no vaca. México ya. Money. So he said he first started painting when he was about 15 years old, and he just saw that he was good at it. And actually, something interesting: the first paints, so they would paint on ceramics. I don't know if there are any of these that have the ceramics in them, but they're local ceramics. They actually sort of put cotton in the clay to make it. Sturdier, mm. but they'll paint it with two colors, and one of them is black, and the black comes from a stone that's only found in a certain area of the of the village lands. Mm -hmm. And they'll get the stone, and they'll like pound, pound it, it down pound it into a powder on a rock, and then they'll mix water in it. And I think they use for the black also a rosin from a mm -hmm. a legume tree mm -hmm. to give it that thing. And then the red is bought from another village quite mm -hmm. a distance away. Mm -hmm. And so that's the traditional color. So that's what he started. Okay. Yes, I didn't see it. Okay. It was when he went to the market. I'm I'm a well. I'm a man. 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 I'm a Totome. Totome. Should they make story as in? Ka sa des sa sa tlay kwale o ni o pe wasti sa tlay kwale ko marcial no no pe kia kwa kia ma kia mo te kwale ka da se yo ka da se kimati pero si ka o te smasti san tome san tome i panto son teko hoki hoki este pan son teko ni ne mili si ka o na chititi aha kio so he started painting just. Sort of the tourist birds type of thing. I don't know if I've ever seen them. They're sure. sort of a dime a dozen. Yeah. And he just—that's how he started getting skills with the with the brush, right? Uh -huh. And he just, by at best, basically, I understand, he just liked it and saw that he was good. Yeah. So he and another friend, um, who recently died, um, and maybe his brother Felix Notewa. Felix Notewa Lope, no Kikiyakuwa. So his his younger brother then. Um, also got quite good um, later started, but it was just that they started doing the tourist art yeah. Selling it and then decided to sort of just teach themselves to get better and better and um, Remind me and, and tell the audience uh, what province are we talking about? Okay, so of Mexico City? well, so the The Balsas River where he lives right on the, the village of San Agustin Huapan 
the new highway that goes from Mexico City to Acapulco, you go towards Acapulco about three hours, mm -hmm. and you get to a big bridge uh -huh. over the Balsas River, uh -huh. and it's down in the valley. Okay. And, and has, it been a, has it always been a tourist destination? It's not really... All the way to Acapulco? <laughs> well, they, so they do have a, like at the bridge, they do have a, a large like parking lot mm. where people will sell ceramics and necklaces and things like that. <clears throat> but in terms of a tourist there, nobody really goes to Wapan. You're right. Um, to, I mean, some but people... There was would. enough of an industry at one... I mean, enough of passers-by at one point that making paintings to sell to them was a viable... Economy. I think they would take them to Mexico City more to tell her to Tosco. Oh, okay. Right. It was they only make them there and then take them. <coughs> okay. Right. Yeah. That was sort of the general pattern. Yeah. Um, so. You know, so I can say it started in six, the, I mentioned to you the first yeah. woman to buy. I mean, it was Mary Price, the sister of Vincent Price, the actor and art collector. Yeah. So and it just took off. I mean, it just mm -hmm. took off. That's what you need, just one, one yeah. person like that to make a difference. <clears throat> and during the Olympics, they, like, hundreds of thousands. Mm. The whole village just stopped doing anything except painting. Wow. But very touristy type yeah. Uh, yeah. stuff. That was in well, what, I mean, I don't want to interrupt if he's still talking, uh, but what made you really want to continue? Like, was it a just that creative passion, or was there an economic part of it? Like, hey, I could make a living doing this? I mean, yeah, you well, have another job, so... When clean up the one click of the te posto kaki. Well... Tiki to tik tik. Tik la min sku wili aya, i, no so... Shumas pampa no shka manikita i, kong. Ke man no kuwaya, na kuwer na baka de tan na magaya, ke man no kuwaya. Después, otna, marcialo, ope, y te está que te es mundo raíque, pues como un es, pues no va acá, te chita, te tlana maga, te tlana maga centro, después, está tlai cual le, no, no chile, que tú, te chile que ya no te cala que se apá, después no te cala que, te chile, te chmaga, vino y pintaros que, y brasel, no chile, te chmaga ya tiene más pintaros que. Aquí no, raíque? Ajá, raíque. Pero después no hay nada más, pero yo tiro este rastro ya, yo tiro este muto. Me mandé, me tlané magallanes, me mero, pues no va a quedar con el ano cuaya a mates. Ya, mani, me lo ano cuaya. Bueno, ¿qué es lo que me ha dicho? A mí así, yo ya estaba bien. ¿Qué es lo que me ha dicho Arizona? Santa Ana. ¿Qué es lo que me ha dicho? So, there was an American, and I'm sort of very prejudiced against him. Um, but he would give the, the Marcial Camilo, who was another artist, and Inocencio, he'd give them all the materials, and he would just keep the paintings as, him, as his he own. He would ask them to paint. He would say, yeah, give materials, it. and then take the work. And then take the work. And he'd pay them, but it wasn't quite, there, there's like, there's a saying in Spanish, what is it, short, short accounts, long friendships, or something uh, like that, you know. Um, nobody ever knew how much they were making or how much he was selling it for. I do know that he convinced the Santa Fe Museum to buy a painting for $5,000. Mm -hmm. This was a long time ago, probably about 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. So it was quite a, an expenditure. And they right. didn't want to buy it, but he convinced the board to buy it. Right. But anyway, so there was a very sort of, there were a lot of- There was some uncertainty. Th there the was some uncertainty yeah. about how much people would get, but he considered them his because he was giving them all the paint and the- Like commission. Like commission. He saw it as a commission for himself. Right. Right. And, um, but this, but, it, but, but he's he, saying that it provided him this, like, oh, there's a reason to, like, keep painting. Yeah. Which it works. But he left. He was one of the first to leave that yeah. and then um, didn't go back, but got the skills, I guess you could say yeah. that. Hone, hone his skills. Right. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and I think the, the guy. He just sold them. I, I, I went to interview him once. He wouldn't talk to me yeah. for the yeah. book. And uh, as I say, it wasn't quite clear what what was going on. Yeah, or what the relationship was. Yeah. Um, but that was the first time I think there was a connection with sort of an outside art market. Other than what was local. Right, right in the market. Local, yeah. Um, I, I want to ask.
ask a little bit about, um, because you're kind of talking in, about some challenges to painting or challenges that were, you know, professional to this mm -hmm. thing where there's people coming in, recognizing talent. Um, are there, one of my questions has been, are there any challenges to painting for you? Uh, either culturally, economically, or, you know, with these, in, in, in the other kinds of relationships that you might have uh, in his town, uh, are there challenges to what he's doing? In terms of, like, jealousy of other people, or...? Sure, Any, anything really, like, what, what makes it, is there a difficulty between, I mean, he's also a farmer, so, like, mm -hmm. there, you know, that probably takes precedence a lot of the time in terms of doing that. Are, it, are there obstacles in his way to creating work or to creating the work that he wants? When you look at the black and white sinti, the topology, when you not 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 see white sinti, you do click a not see the context chiva, no so clean on the que kamantika shtika shil de que ti toka, no so kamantika que la la mitla wendita no so shkualikita okseki me de tochan, shla mitzilia de que que la weititani no so que la se ne shikol Mets <laughs> La capa, pues, y chavo ni vuelto. Que me hueles ni, ni está macho, que es más. Que me con, yo ni no más con, que el pesado se nico esté, con, y con, con ni huele esté. Que más, te. Soy. Ajá, que. A ver, es que le traigo los zapatos. Que le dices que. Se ha topido bien, ni ca, ni esta ni maquillaya. Guarda para chanti, pero nada, ni ca, silva spring, nada, ni ca, un, 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 Nech palego ya que mana che na magija ya na magua na ni yo que mena magija ya ya yo y amigos yo yo y amates nech palego un topipe que ma que no que mena magija cuálete que ma con ama después o que nechte se amigo Martin Crote Martin Crote ajá chante Nueva York ajá que ma que no no que nechto te no que neto no es la comunis, ajá, porque desde a ni más que teja mantis como si ni casi ya ni se traje más, pero ni temo de que ama ni que ama ni ca, ni que tla que me enamaga pues, se pasa más, se pasa que ni 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 tama chotis, ajá, yo mis no tama chotis no son mis 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 cuba, catloa, mis cubilla, catloa, y un Martin Cruz por ejemplo sí so there, there have been contacts here with uh -huh. there's a woman in Silver Springs that would sell some of his paintings for him and there was a guy in New York City who would also sell his paintings my understanding is they weren't at this quality mm -hmm. nearly close to it yeah. and they were very they, they weren't they're prosumer I guess the market if you want right. to put it in those terms they yeah. weren't really the level of skill mm -hmm. um, that, that he shows. Mm -hmm. So when we did this, I sort of, you know, I don't know, uh, encouraged him to just take your time, yeah. do your best work. Yeah. And, you know, you can see one of the problems is these were painted, what did we say, about 10 years ago. Right. And this is the first time there's even any possibility of telling them. So a lot of times it's just hard to to get them out, to, just to get them seen, get them out. Get them seen, yeah. rather than selling something of lower, you know, lower quality, lower price, and just having yeah. to constantly sell. Yeah. So I think that's the sort of tension. Yeah. And, and, and I don't think he didn't say anything about problems in the village. Mm -hmm. um, just that since a lot of times he is, plants corn. Yeah. So for, you know, six months a year, he might be pretty occupied in right. corn farming. Yeah. And doesn't have time to paint. Right. Is is there uh, a direction for his, for your creativity that is strictly personal? Mm -hmm. You know, like work images, scenes. You know, mm -hmm. that, bueno, that kind of 
Ти пие и тлаци па мој јоло пара ти неки ти така палотис, но со масанкено хамани, ја не ми спано ти ли јон куенто. Но ти не ми ле оксети неки ти така палотис, но со кено ти не ти неки ти чиваш, ке тлаи па амат. Но дека тла Нетла не е што ме ни рагува, па ке ма за по нетла мачува ти смас, нетла палот ти смас, нека тла за па се за па се 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 нека те нека ги пано јоло не пеја за па се нека мас нетла лилис, ага, на рацион теко. Ти мас тоа клино клино ти неки ти ти клади си памат, ти тата паматис. Ке ма ке ма ми 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 јаки па ука и па на рацион теко ти нетла листе, се нека нека тла ке ма. Que more nuestros te, nuestros. So he just says that he has a lot of ideas in his head of things that he'd like to paint, and I didn't he didn't enumerate which they are, but I think just you know what happens a lot is stimulants from the from what he sees and what he hears and stuff like that. Are you painting them? Yo te pregunté. Ја унтлин ти не ти не чили па мод сон теко ти пиа. Се ешни не тла мијон не ме целија. Кампа но пело тоа го ескисти. Кампа са са не тла мис се са не тла мис амате. Аха. One question. Но со што question ке ни? Ке ма јува ке ма ке ма question. Аха. Question. Перо јува. Ке ма не не колор ја тис перо не е сакаше перо ке ма квасти не си. Кама не тла мис. Аха. Перо та но чанте и чани ас те. Pero no me liste, ni me pone cuatro, pone cuatro meses o me mesle, nada mesle con. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Mesle qué vamos a hacer? So he has one that's a carnival performance. He used to have carnival in Wapan. ¿Yo quise a Whitley? ¿A qué más? ¿Qué más tama? No pelo o es que se tama. Okay, there's so there's carnival performers which are boys or young men dressed up in costumes with masks, and there's a picture in the book of one of them, and they used to just throw paint on young women, and everybody got rid of the women. Got really mad because their clothes would be ruined, so they don't do that anymore. But it, but at the end of the carnival, and there's a picture in that. Um, maybe we can we can, we can show it. Where they where they hang the carnival performers upside down in the plaza. Mm. They tie them by their feet. They climb up a like a ladder, but it's gigantic. It's yeah. going to be like a scaffold almost. Well, it's just logs that are on top of each other, oh, wow. and you'll see it in there. Yeah. And uh, they'll, there's sort of these uh, vaqueros, cowboys that will mm -hmm. lasso them, mm -hmm. and they'll be dancing around, mocking everybody. And then they'll get one, and they'll drag them up to the top of the scaffolding, which would be about 20 feet high. Okay. And then they'll just hang them upside down for a while. <laughs> so that's what he's painting now, <laughs> mm -hmm. and that's carnival, yeah. which is what the. When is Carnival? The last day of Lent or the before Lent? Morning, yeah. Morning, yeah. Okay. So they have a Carnival, and so that's what he's painting now. And he says that's one he's really making, like a fine art drawing. Yeah. And if he had time, he could finish it maybe in a month. How long? How long does it take you to paint one of these? Kaya man de kin catch catch kitsin ti wakawi. Kaya man de i. But, uh, I mean, that's probably one of the more complicated ones, it looks like. Mm-hmm. Well, it's like a question, it's a mess. Uh-huh. It's a mess. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, I'm not going to say anything. 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 But I'm not going to say anything. Uh-huh. So, it's very slow and painstaking. But it'll, it'll uh -huh. take about a month to paint something like that. Yeah. And it's fairly intense. I've seen people, actually, his brother stayed with me once in Mexico City, and it was quite embarrassing. I've seen people, actually, his brother stayed with me once in Mexico City, and it was quite embarrassing because I'd be there, you know, I'm an academic and I, after an hour, I'd say, oh my God, why, I can't go for a coffee. And, <laughs> and he would just be painting. Just painting. <laughs> oh my God. You know, I mean, it's, it's very uh, intense. The quality is so fine, the line structure is so fine. Uh, a woman who was in here today uh, thought they almost looked stitched because the lines are so clean and, and there's like a three-dimensionality to them. Kito malak et lak, malak pisilti tikaset. Uh-huh. Ja, ja, ja. Ja, ik denk dat het echt een detail is. Ja, ik denk dat het echt een detail is. Ja, ik denk dat het echt een detail is. Ja, ik denk dat het echt een detail is. Ja, ik denk dat het echt een detail is. Ja, ik denk dat het echt een detail is. Ja, ik denk dat het echt een detail is. Ja, ik denk dat het echt een detail is. Ja, ik denk dat het echt een detail is. Ja, ik denk dat het echt een detail is. Ja, ik denk dat het echt een detail is. Ja, ik denk dat het echt een detail is. Ja, ik denk dat het echt een detail is. Ja, ik denk dat het echt een detail is. Ja, ik
part of the story is the crocodiles trying to trap the rabbit because the rabbit tricked him into taking him across the river. And he plays dead. He's just lying on the beach or in the riverbank. And the rabbit there says, you're not dead. I'd believe you're dead if you're covered by ants. So the crocodile says, OK. So he calls his ants friends over. He says, come swarm on top of me. And uh, then he'll believe that I'm dead. And so the next time the rabbit comes back, he says, yeah, but you're not really dead, because if you're really dead, your bones would be scattered on the, so anyway. But, but he was finishing that one there. And I said, it's done, right? And he can like, that's good, yeah, take it away. And he says, no, I just got to do the ants. And I say, oh, God. Yeah. And they're so tiny, the little And you know, they have like six, I mean, it's incredible, yeah. the detail of them. Yeah. And there's actually the, uh, I joked with him that he should just paint red harvester ants, which are big. <laughs> and, but the, these, these, are, these are fire ants. So he said, no, that wouldn't work. That's not part of the story. They have to be swarming ants. Yeah. So he painted the fire ants. But it took quite a while just to do the ants. Mm. You, know, you can see that's just a small section of the, yeah. the thing. Um, so what, what I was amazed about is just the detail, I mean, the professionalism of them. Because yeah. he'll do a fish, and it would look fine to me just like the fish. Yeah. And he says, you know, he puts the scales on it, he shades yeah. the belly and yeah. stuff like that. So you'll see something, you say, that's great. And he says, no, it's, it's, that's it's not, not, it's not right. I've just started, yeah. yeah. And so you can see the fish, the scales on it, yeah. the lines and the fins. Yeah. So that's just for my, if I might say something, yeah. what just impresses me is like, really the professionalism of, yeah. of, of of, of Innocencio in just knowing what it should look like and saying, I'm going to get it to that point. He has a vision for, uh -huh. for them. <laughs> Does, is there a, this is, I feel like it's kind of like a naive question, but is there a traditional place for artists in the, in the valley there? I mean, if it's, like it's a coffee weird. shop? No, no, I don't know. Like, um, I mean, we're here in this fine art gallery where we sell artwork uh -huh. and we go to art fairs and we do all these things. Like, um, and it's important to me to, to, you know, well, Liz and I together to support artists. And, you know, mm -hmm. here in the U.S., we have this arts culture and mm -hmm. the artist plays this role. I just don't, I'm unfamiliar whether there's a similar role that the artist plays. Pues neto chan que no que no nos entlali a un artistas chicana nos entlali no sé qué tal y para museo chicana 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 ya hoy que la que milla te te san neto chayo a manse la palocha la palocha un yo natural san para nos entlaya ne claro para casle neto cha cada seis para ir campa Campa Carle Centro. Ah, y un de museo. Ajá. Que hemos San Pano Centralla. Pero no no está camano 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 que entrar que está que centrales que voy yo y que pilla yo y yo que yo pintar o qué y que tapas lote. Pero noche de clase. Ah, noche de clase. De ahí me llama. Pero para mate necesito ayuda. Ajá. Ajá. So there is a community museum that was started by the state government there. Mm -hmm. And people will get there and they actually do have stuff to sell there, but it's just ceramics. And it has revived the, a lot of them are really incredible ceramics, uh, natural paints. Right. Um, but that's just ceramics. Right. Um, people who paint on a mate, it's really a, they're in their own home doing yeah. it. Interesting. And there doesn't seem to be much like getting together and I'm asking if there younger, shows. Are there younger people doing not to, you know, I'm being insulted, but you know. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> but are you know, other kin you know, he was no that you know, 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 they do have the national phone art, I guess, the fomenting art, I forget what it stands for. Mm -hmm. um, 
does run comp competitions mm -hmm. to try to promote, um, you know, high quality yeah. uh, art and artisanry. Yeah. And they do have competitions for Amate, I think, yeah. these things, but he's never participated yeah. in it. I mean, there's a, you know, there's a thriving uh, contemporary art scene happening in Mexico City. Uh -huh. um, I mean, we're a contemporary gallery, but I, we, we branch out to lots of different things. I find this work relevant uh, to, to retelling of stories mm -hmm. um, in the contemporary world, you know, passing down certain narratives. And um, there's a complicated story um, in terms of why these are being shown here. Mm -hmm. um, they're beautiful. And it's interesting that the contemporary market doesn't always see uh, this kind of imagery or this style or things that are done in a faraway village as relevant to the contemporary art scene. Yeah, I think that's bueno que todo de que pues que aman de que en esto chano son México no son fonar que la que ni me le dan que la artesanía que ni me le dan que la arte ah más o ya ve que hace temoto de la es yo no es temoto te no más es más que temicha un sanguago acá sanguago ahí que tal día de que no se quime ajá de Marcela Salitla San Roberto, a lot of the ones who compete in these like government sponsored things, they don't really do art like this. I mean, and I, I know from experience that there, there's nothing really similar to this anywhere. And you know, just my own perspective, even in the, the museum and Mexico City, and they spoke to me from the State um, Department of uh, what would it be called, you know, like promoting art or something yeah, like culture. that. Culture, yeah. the culture, right? The yeah. Secretary of Culture. Yeah. Um, she didn't speak to me, but her the her right hand man, let's yeah. say, did, and wanted to know my opinion or whether they could sell it more. I said, as long as you just sell it as if it were. You know, local pottery, right. where you're paying for like, oh, well, it took you a day to do it. Well, three hundred pesos. Right. You know, that that's not going to do it. Yeah. You have to really just break out of that mold. That's right. what I told her, yeah. and it's just hard to do in Mexico because people, and and I've seen when people say, you know, they'll say, how long did it do it, yeah. and they'll start thinking about, oh, you know, two dollars an hour. What that's, does that work out to? Yeah. What does that Salary work out wise. to? Yeah. And you wouldn't do that to an artist. <laughs> So I think that's, it's really a cognitive yeah. uh, uh, classificatory problem. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I really appreciate the fact that you did this because yeah. um, I think very, I've gone to other galleries yeah. and very few galleries will break so far out of their mold. If you compare these works of arts to the ones in the front room, mm -hmm. they're quite different. Yeah. And for you to have the vision that this is really saying something important is really um, unusual, yeah. I think. So I, uh, I really appreciate I love it. Them. <laughs> uh, you know, because mm -hmm. even if they sell or don't don't sell, they've sort of now entered a different world of yeah. of of consideration. And people who come here can actually, you know, my on the opening day, hearing people comment on it, people yeah. were just yeah, they've had a very strong impact on people know, that so. have come to the gallery. Yeah, um, which opens us up to if there's any current questions from anybody here, if they'd like to. Ask. I'm curious about the borders. Uh, you know, the, yes, if each has a significance. I know that the borders are not the same. I know 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 the borders Pero es la que tú has nacido en otro lugar, ¿no? ¿Vale, güey? Pues saco, saco un negón talle. Entonces yo necesito más, se nega, se nega más necesit. Pero en tu nací no se tiene. Cayo son que tal, son, son, la más que tal, saco, saco un negón talle, ¿no? 
So he says mm -hmm. he just did it. Mm -hmm. it, it, it. There's no significance mm -hmm. to it. It's not representing. So I asked him like just it, patterns it, that were created. Just patterns that's mm -hmm. in his head mm -hmm. and that he likes, and you can see they're all different, right? I mean, yeah. And, yeah. So it's just like it's actually like a frame within a frame, right? Yeah. Um, uh -huh. And and the big ones have the borders. The big ones have the borders. The small ones don't because it probably be imbalanced the, 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 because the borders have to be a certain yeah. width probably. But that's very common on the amates to put a border around them like that. Well, I, I also wondered though if it has any um, um, bridge over to any other, like textiles. For example, if they make rugs in their or village. Pottery. Or pottery. Yeah. Right? If, if, yeah. if that's something similar. But if you have a lot Tema? Marco? Sometimes you'll find it on pottery and stuff like that, but this does not really come from pottery. Okay. There are, and... Sometimes there are certain patterns that are repeated that are used in yeah. pottery. And there are, so I went to a tricky village, and they're, they're called papalo, they're butterflies, and they're these sort of woven bands yeah. and they each each one has a name each each design within it has a name in tricky um for for what it signifies mm -hmm. and in in chiapas um the same thing about the weavings they'll have but i think these do not you know from what innocencio said they don't they don't mean anything as i said this is not like i thought at first oh maybe that's the sun and that's like a abstract yeah. Well, that wasn't no. that one specifically. I was just curious about all the different mm -hmm. patterns that are through yeah. that and if it did resonate with another element of their society or their village mm -hmm. or, you know, some well, other woodworking or... But if you have a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little Mm -hmm. so it's, yeah. kind of, it's, kind of it's just, just only, it's, doodling. It's, just, yeah. it's just only on a mat yeah. that this yeah. type of yeah. pattern appears. Yeah. It's not reflected in other. That's interesting. Um, they don't weave there also. But I think, can I make a comment about yeah. that? I think that um, there's like a vibrancy and a saturation that's just present in the, in the artwork mm -hmm. in Mexico. But I'm thinking about alabrijes, but the uh, level of detail in an alabrijes. Yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of the, like the alebrijes, there's also great, so there's... Oh, the, great variety. Variety, and, yeah. and also in terms of, so there's the one who had the exhibit at the Fowler Museum, I think. Um, you know, very, very well known and very expensive. Beautiful stuff. Um, but but, but um, you do get in the alebrijes, you just get a whole range of, um, I guess, detail, right? And the types of carving, because the carvings... Oh, yeah. um, like I bought my parents a polar bear. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Jonathan, is, uh, can you ask Innocencio if um, there is a lot, like, are you looking at a lot of other artwork, visual art, uh -huh. like other paintings or anything to, that influences your thoughts on what you're painting? <laughs> Antigues, <coughs> No sé, Mm -hmm. 
Me dice, ¿cómo te gané? Dice, bueno, no, aquí no, no de vueltos, pero no se me canta a Lili. Nunca hay pan de fonteco. Pues tía, no me quiere ser. Eh. De un. Sé de mi lado, tío, en Itac. Pues que aman, sé que yo. Apocalipsis que tal y ya. Apocalipsis. Ajá, no, cual sí. Cual sí. Dice, pero no, no. Ni que toda. No se han pintado, pero no hay pan de fonteco en Gistis. Ya no, no se nega. Dice, si voy a ver mi museo. Look at stuff there and get inspirations from it. And it says, oh, I like this, but I'm going to do it a different way. So it's an Oksek Nekam wins in a different way. So he will do that. Clean Museo Shtianamiki. Se llama Negochaga Rocío Museo Urbino Tamayo, Nueva York. No tengo esta toya cuadro, si cuadro te vas acá. So he remembers he helped me teach Nahuatl at Yale once. And we took him to the Rufino Tamayo, is that a uh -huh. I don't know if it's a museum or an exhibit within a museum. Yeah. But he remembers that and having it inspired some of, uh, yeah. giving him ideas of how to do it. Yeah. But it, it seems from Kwako Nochi Pero Tikwapa, Ketla Oksaikneka Titlalia, Leketiki de San Shtiyish Kopina, San Ipamotu. No, pero Ipamotu was no, 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 so I, I think the idea is it's inspiring to see other artwork, yeah. mm -hmm. but he will sort of register it and then do it in his own style. Yeah, absolutely. Um, absolutely. So that's it. He does, he does look at... So the, yeah. we went today to that museum there. To the American Visionary. Yeah. yeah downtown. And yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. the Yayamat, the Wiyak, the Tomanic, Manetla Machote de la Conquista, de que era un pesto, un pesto. Que me cuaje foto, me cuaje yo, que me cuaje soquis. En medio, que te quise matar que en Pegualtis, me dio un nicho, un nicho pins, que me voy a no quis, que me cuaje el ataque. So somebody asked him to take him a triptych of the conquest. So he did that, and he wasn't sure how to begin it. Un cano, que no, que no, que no, que no, que no, que no. ¿Y para el libro? ¿Está recién? No, ni está aquí para no que la foto más o menos que no me pego a ti. Que me llama que me llama la mamá toque que me indio si busca hoy. Ok. No para pego a ti. So, I mean, he looked and he saw something like how the the native population was forced to carry stuff and stuff like that. So that entered into the imagery that he used. Luego pirámide, un tlale. Ajá. Y da algo, un grito de dolores, o yo entrarle a esta revolución mexicana, o tamito. Ok. So it started with the conquest and went through the independence, with Hidalgo, and then to the Mexican Revolution. Interesting. As a triptych. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess something. How large was the scale? ¿Qué es que es un yeyamat leín? Yo busco ya un pintado que pilla en los... Uno treinta y cinco años, Yugak. Pero que no, ye amat no se sabe si voy a... Ye amat no está que chile. De ahí, de ahí. Que es la ye de ahí, es más guay. ¿Qué más hoy? ¿Qué me no? Y me dijo, bueno, que sé, bueno, que sé. ¿Qué más? So he joined together three amates of this size. Of that size. In the triptych. ¿Qué más? But it was 35 years ago. Oh, yeah. ¿Qué más? And that was the... Couple hundred years and you know thirty inches, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. No, no. Quite lucky, isn't it? Uh huh. How did you choose those books? Um, I have like hundreds of stories. So one is that I did a documentary on the narrator. It's called Silvestre Pantaleon. It's on YouTube. It's a very nice film and did very well. But he's just an amazing person, the, the guy who recorded it, and it's just a beautiful narration. I mean, very expressive. So um, I just love this, this story mostly. There's a, there's a couple others that are really, really great stories that I'd like to illustrate if we ever get this book out. But uh, the, this was just such a beautiful narration because he changed the voices and he was just, he's just he was a natural narrator. And uh, um, so that's why I picked that one, just because I was very close friends with the narrator, and I did a documentary on him, and it was just a great story. So, so 
So, um, so I. How much do you see this as a collaboration between the two of you? Is this whose work is this? It's I didn't do any painting. No, I understand right. that. But it was your concept. Yeah, I mean, I re so Innocencio is like an amazing painter, mm -hmm. and it's just always illustrator, really. Yes, illustrator. Well, he never illustrated a book before, uh -huh. and so I said, why don't we do a children's book? And I didn't know how impossible it is to do a children's book, really. And I sort of said, don't worry. I think I probably the only mitz slash lewa chitzin, but lewa dein. So I thought I did, but but basically he had to sort of not have income while he did this. This did not. This has not produced any income. Uh, we thought of it first as a book, and then once they were done, I tried to um, contact different people. So there was one person who wanted to do the book. And when she sent a contract, it said work for hire. Mm -hmm. And in the art world, or she wanted to hand over. Let's she wanted him to hand over all, all the rights. Work for hire means basically she paid him to do it. It's like a reporter maybe on a, a newspaper that the copyright is mm -hmm. with them. Right. And I said, you, this is not a work for hire. He did it. Mm -hmm. I, we approached you after. What was the relationship between the two? Well, I think it was just me encouraging him. Uh -huh. And when. When we did it, we did go through the whole story. And I said, just think of the scenes you can paint. And then he thought about it. Um, and then for the last 10 years, I've been trying to, um, actually about seven years ago, I found a publisher, which still hasn't come out because the publisher sold, sold typical his. Typical book turnaround time. Yeah, typical book turnaround time. So the really, but I live in the villa. So he's my compadre. So he actually is ritually related to me. Um, but it was mostly just because I just, I mean, it's just the talent of his art was just incredible that I just, you know, had naive idea, sort of field of dreams, like build it and they will come. Like I will show this art to people and the, 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 the book contracts would come, you know, rolling in. rolling in and illustrations and galleries and stuff like that. I was very- and Jonathan uh, brought the work to me over three years ago. Um, and said, what do you think about it? <laughs> yeah. And uh, of course I loved it. And that was about one week before the uh, pandemic shut down. So uh, everything stopped after that. And we've been working on this show for about a year, uh, getting it to sort of come to fruition and bring it to the States and get it up. Because the first contact with, with Brian was, um, I needed very, very good color, um, Photographs, reproductions, for, reproductions the, yeah. for the design, for the book. Yeah. So that's what he did. And we have some fine art prints that, you right. know, that's another thing. But the idea was just to get the fine art, not even print them, just to get the negative. Yeah, and for then, the books. And then send it to the designer. Yeah. So I thought it was done. And I think I said, hey, why don't you do an exhibit sometime? And then it took a while to get it yeah. uh, together because of all the other. But I'm an anthropologist, so I study the language. So I actually have a house in that village. Uh -huh. So I go down there a lot. I lived there for about four years, five years. Mm -hmm. So that's where we started developing a, a relationship. But this was really just, I think the only input into this was just encouraging. I'm coming yeah. up with the, I, with the idea of what you would paint. Yeah, yeah giving him the story. Yeah. And we actually did go over the story together, but that's about okay. it. Yeah. I mean, I didn't go and say, Paint this thing here. Paint this, yeah. like I think you should have one of this and one of that and one of that. Yeah. It wasn't like that. It was a bit more with the political art that we did. We talked about each, each, each thing. But here was just sort of, mm -hmm. where can we, let's have at least one with the guy, you know, the coyote getting beat with a stick. Okay. <laughs> let's have one with the crocodile going here. Deciding where those panels should be. Right. Yeah. And then I just left it. And I don't think I had any other input for like three years, yeah. except to say, Hurry up. <laughs> Get the ends done. <laughs> well, I'd love to let you have the last word. What, In the case. Do you, what do you want people to take away from your work, either this work or just in general? Well, 
Pero es que no, pues te iba donde que no cuasia, pues no cuasete, ya 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 cualeta. Ajá. Pues en esta zona que más director con un un en el chile que más igual ni ca ni pan hasta pasle. Ni ca un y cano yo lo ni igual. Te y cuando no está, ni chis más to cuale, chis más to campati chanti. Guapa, para ni igual agua. Iba un chile para maniguala y ni ca un un quintal que lleno yo y nada más gua, si no nada gua, un taqui chihuile, un ica no ica no yo lo, que es más un taqui pano, ya un ino caste, ya ica un ino caste para bueno para cuál es más quizá no chi, ajá, no gua, cuál si no ni taqui ni que chihuas pues, bueno yo lo ic, pero para bueno más quizá, cueste, pero no ni huele 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 ni talis, pero más no no se negate ni si, ajá, ni cuál es tan ni que pensé yo y el pizacote para cuál es maquisa cuál es ah ese es ah taslawi directo taslawi güey la soca mate o ni igual y panes no sé güey taslawi ca güey la soca mate taslawi taslawi ca un un ni ca ya yo todo no es que ni yo ni me yo ni me es fuerte que no o ni guapé ya o ni igual ni nada tan más le que no la paz le que no ni chigulla te pues no bueno no chipa no son de coquiza la soca mate güey so he said he came here he's very happy that people can see this he hopes that some people buy this stuff so that he was could continue doing it then he thank you very much for for doing this for inviting him for interviewing him and you know, hopefully, um, he paints now, but not this type of uh, detail and quality. Mm -hmm. And he's hoping that he can continue to paint like this. Yeah. Um, but I think a lot depends on, if I remember, I think I spoke for a while, you know, it depends on what, what the, um, you know, possibilities are of, of selling it. And continue, he's still, yeah. And continue more it. materials, more opportunity. Right. To have just having the the time to do it, you know. Right. So if you think, I mean, this might represent, you know, half time work for three years or something yeah. like that. So yeah. it's a long time to yeah. invest in something. Yeah. But I think, you know, just from my perspective, I think he just he thanks you very much for this because yeah. it's really something unusual for him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Amante es cada niquita, la que la playa hoy, amates, que bueno, cuasinesi, pero ni ni tan ni de un de se negate, de un cuadro de de un de vibrase, de un se 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 negate, de de se se nega se pintaro, que la machucha te, la machucha se se nega. Pero ni para galería no son psico. Y para galerías que en México. Ajá. ¿Buen de Tocha? Cacho de Tocha. Yo soy de Tocha. Bueno, sí, carnita, la que te he dicho de Tocha y a Magua. Es carnita. He's seen, he's never seen Amates in a gallery. And he says he's just like this in Mexico. So in Mexico, when he does go to galleries, his other media, they're either on fibra cell, which is like a hardboard yeah. or canvas or something else. But he has never seen this, so it's, it's quite different and quite encouraging to, to see it. Well, we want to thank you for coming for a long, arduous trip. Yes, arduous, <laughs> arduous. And um, sharing the work because it's absolutely beautiful and it, people have just fallen in love with the work, really. Yeah. Um, to see them on the website is one thing, and to see these in person, right. the quality of them is is beyond. So mm -hmm. thank you, and thank you, Jonathan, for no, thank you for too, talking with us and allowing us mm -hmm. to communicate in this circle here. Yeah, no, it's wonderful. It. Yeah. And as I say, it's really just even just having it here, the the act of having it here is really important. Yeah. Um, for Inocencio, for me, yeah. and I think just in general, so that you know, it, it's sort of. 
recategorizes this as serious art. I love it. Yeah. I love it.